Alright, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make Gig Master's Secret Devil Crab Cakes. And we're going to make them from crabs I caught last night, clean today, fresh. Alright, stay tuned. Alright, is everybody ready to make Gig Master Devil Crabs? Now what I did, I went out crabbing last night, and I picked the meat this day from the crabs I caught, and that's what we're using today. Fresh, fresh crab meat. Can't get any fresher than that. Just picked it. All right, let's go with some ingredients. So I want to tell you right now, I'm, everything here is double because I got I'm using two pounds of my crab meat that I, I picked today versus the one pound. So everything, all the ingredients are double here. So let's check it out right now. Okay, we got butter. Nothing goes better with crab meat than butter. Butter and crab meat go together. We got some Dijon mustard for some flavor. We got some brick crumbs for some filler. We got salt and pepper. We got Green pepper, onion, and celery. They're going to taste really good mixed in with all the crab meat. Then we got two pounds of crab meat right here. Check it out. Two pounds of it right there. That's sweet, isn't it? Got two, two containers here, each a pound a piece. We got some mayonnaise and egg to uh, kind of help hold everything together. So when we get it, we can kind of pack it up and put it together. We have here a Worcestershire sauce. We have uh, Old Bay, onion powder, and paprika. And just for a little bit of kick, we're gonna put just a little bit of hot sauce in it to give it a little kick. Not a lot, but just a little bit. All right, I wanna show you one more thing here. Check out over here, look. I actually took the shells off and I cleaned the crab. And I cooked these shells, and we're gonna actually put the devil crab back into the shells. Use the real shells from the crab in the devil crabs. We'll put the devil crab back into the shells right there. That's gonna be cool. All right, I tell you what, let's go ahead and get everything in the bowl and get it mixing right now. All right, stay tuned. All right, the first thing we have to do is cook the celery, the pepper, and the onion so it gets soft. We don't want crunchy things in the uh, crab cakes. We're going to cook these down so they get nice and tender and some butter. We just put the butter in, the butter's melting now, and we're going to put these in right now and cook them down. All right, here we go. All right, we got it all in here. It's going to take us a few minutes to uh, get these. We're going to summon these in here on a medium heat here until they get nice and tender. And that is going to look good. That's looking good, isn't it? Mm, that butter in there. You can't go wrong with butter and crab meat. All right, well, let's let this sit here and simmer for a while until we can tell that they're not crunchy anymore and get nice and tender. All right, and then we'll get ready for the next step. Stay tuned. All right, we've sauteed. The peppers, the onion, and the celery, and it's right here. Check it out. Alright, and we let it cool down just for a minute. So now we're we'll gonna go ahead and start adding everything else. I'm gonna add all the liquids first, then I'll add the other stuff. So we'll go ahead and put uh, the egg, Worcestershire. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and get this mustard in here. And alright, get that in there good. Alright, a little salt and pepper, a little spices, mayonnaise. Now what we're going to do next is, uh, first I'm going to stir this around a little bit, get it mixed up a little bit. And then we're going to put our breadcrumbs in, and then what we'll do is we'll put the crab meat in last so we have a little bit less stirring once you get the meat in so that its meat kind of keeps its consistency. All right, so now we're going to get that in there. there. So let's get, get this mixed up really good. And then we'll add the crab meat. All right, now we're ready to put the good stuff in. The crab meat. Man, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Two pounds of crab meat. All right, let's see if we can slowly mix this together. Kind of trying to affect as little as the camera. This is going to have to push in there pretty good. Alright, just a couple dashes of Texas peat now. I think that should do it. What do y'all think? Give it just a little bit of kick. Let's get that mixed in here good. And then we'll be ready for the crab. Alright, looks like we got it all mixed up pretty good now. 
Now we're gonna put it inside of a shell. Let's try it out here. Let's try a little here first. Oh my goodness, ain't that look cool? That is the real crab, the real deal right there, buddy. Oh my goodness. That looks good right there. Does that look good or what? Beautiful. Alright. Does that look pretty or what? Alright, we're gonna stuff about 25 or 30 of these things right now. Alright, then we'll see how to do. We'll have to test one out just to see how it is too. Alright, stay tuned. Alright, that's gonna be a wrap. Check it out. 25 devil crabs. Does that look good or what? One's missing and we had to test one out. And man, was it good. Oh my God, even better than the Gig Master Crab Cakes. They're good. And they'll be so easy to just pop in the oven and cook when I get home. If I come home late or something, I'm going to love it. All right, well, I appreciate everybody coming along with this little cooking adventure. Uh, please click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. All right, thanks for coming along. Thank you.